What's up y'all and good evening. Yagami here, coming back at you with another episode of Dark Souls 3. Now first and foremost, I would like to apologize for no content these days. I kind of have sort of jet lag. Like things have recently changed and my sleeping time is screwed up. And as a result, I am not sleeping and waking up in the desired times, which is not good. And that does not give me enough time to do some recordings. I was quiet there because there was like a motorcycle coming by. And there's also a car, a car's alarm going on that is distracting me. I don't know, it feels like the moment I start recording something, all these things start dead or starts happening, which is not good. I am human, aren't I? Yes, I am. Oh yes, the famous rat in the box. But yeah, we are continuing our journey in the Dark Souls Remaster and our location currently is the Deaths. And like I said, it's funny that it's called the Deaths because this is really not the deepest point we are going to reach in Dark Souls. There's going to be a much, much deeper point we will be reaching. So it's always funny when it's said like that. Since this is like a sewer system. Excuse me, as I sneeze. Of course, it's me and my allergies, as always, struggling. One of the other reasons why I just kind of shied away from recording stuff because I would be staying for longer periods of time with, you know, clogged up nose and sneezing and everything. And it was just, the end result is not going to be good. Ow. Ooh, that hurts. That's a double attack. That's a double synchronized attack. That sucks big time. It really does. And it's weird because... Let me see. Um, it's weird because they used to be aggroing the moment I go through the door. So that was weird. To say the least. I'm going to use Twin Humanities because I want to Kindle and Reverse Hollowing. There we go. Kindle and Reverse Hollowing. Well, there's been an, a, bit of, a bit of time since I last played, so I'm probably a bit rusty. I did not see that attack coming, although I saw him dancing and, you know, buffing them up. I still kind of did not expect a synchronized attack. I thought one of them is going to attack, then the other one, which would give me time to, you know, defend myself. But whatever. No excuses whatsoever. We're going to leave the rat in the box. We don't want him getting out. One of the biggest reasons I go there is because I need to kill that stupid caster because he would be in a huge a huge 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 hurdle once we reach the boss so he needs to die and the other biggest thing is that there is a large titanite shard somewhere around here to the left preferably damn Damn. They are extremely aggressive. I don't remember them being this aggressive. They don't stop. They just come in, jump, start attacking. Well, that sucks. This is mainly how I use and lose 
my humanity. As I said, there's sort of a invasion here that I do not want to miss. So that's why I keep going back to being a human. Other than that, there's no reason because I'm playing offline and it's kind of pointless to be human when you play offline. You won't get invaded by other players. But whatever. Now, you die. And you die. And you die. And you die. These periods of silence that I have are usually probably me with my snot, me with my sneezing, coughing, all the usual aspects of having a great and nice allergy. So you dead. You dead. And you hit the dirt. I think the biggest problem is that me not being aggressive enough, which I should. Oh, I remember the last time I was here and I got killed by his trident attack, which apparently... Two rats. Huh. Cool. When he attacks, it spins. So it hits you the first time, deals damage, here's the last Titanite child, and the second time, it will spin, so it deals even more damage. And I believe we came through here. Didn't we? I think we did, because I came through the giant rats you know, place, so that will lead me eventually to here. There is another place I need to visit, and I'm thinking maybe I should drop from one of these docks here, aqueducts. Yeah, this is the uh, rat's place, and there's no rat, because I killed it. Or, let's just drop through here, since we did the entire thing. I can always go through here and go back up if I make it alive because uh, this is a kind of a problematic place. There's a type of enemies that I am not a big fan of here so let's have us this equipped and be ready. I want I want to deal with them as quickly as possible. As always, these dumbasses do have curse and it will build up pretty fast on me if I am not ready for it. And it's a soul of something. That's two dead. So far so good. Now if you play online here, you will find the corpses of... <laughs> You'll find the corpses of the petrified players by these enemies right here. Now let's not be in the vicinity of this. You dead. And you dead. Good. So far so good. You find them, which is funny. Even if you die, you leave your corpse petrified there. In a stone form. Now where does this lead? Oh. It leads back down here. <laughs> Lovely trap.
Uh oh. No more stupidity, please. But the good news is I get the ring of the evil eye. Guess this is the only way to get it. Oh god. As I sneeze, that will mean more editing for me. <laughs> more muting that stupid horrendous sound for me. And I hate it. Now the enemy evasion is somewhere around here. So yeah. Okay, let's see if I can run and jump. Yay, got it. Humanity. I think I can just, uh, if I do have a fast roll, I can just roll through it. Now, is this something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it either way, if I go to the top or if I go down here. Now, now. I did say this is a maze, so... It's a bit confusing. That's where we go. And uh, this should be the way. And this should be where the invasion happens? No? Alright. I guess not. Stupid rat. Go away. Leave me. Be. Oh, you're alive! Whoops, I did not want to do that. I wanted to drink some Estus. And top myself off. What on earth is the invasion? I'm missing something. Oh, right here. Right here, somewhere. I hope. Definitely been through here. I have definitely been through here. Oh, I remember that box. There's going to be a rat here. No? One of these boxes has a rat. Here we go. Here we go, Mr. Kirk. I was waiting for you. Ow. Ow. Now, here we go. I was trying to parry him in vain. Here we go. Done and done. Mr. Kirk. Dark Spirit Kirk vanquished. Humanity acquired. And he gave us the blood barbed sword. Pretty stuff. Of course this is not the first invasion we're going to be encountering. There are going to be others. But this one is a bit special because... We will see more of him in Dark Souls 3. In Invaders. For, for some of you who did follow me in my playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Uh, he does invade us in the Cathedral of the Deep. Which is nice. So I've did all of this. Uh, there's no other way to go aside through here. Which does make things a lot easier. Stupid slugs, I do not care. Now we are really close to the boss, which is good. So let's open this. Now we have a shortcut. Well, I have 10 esters, so I can... I can say hi to the boss. Probably can say hi to the boss. What else? We have a merchant here. Some stupid rats. And the way down to the boss. Ooh, no, 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 no. Well, let's see. That's our destination, right after the boss. A peddler. I'm afraid I don't see anything. 
Does see nothing. Well, let's take three. Oh, that's all that is. All right. I can buy straight sword crystal stuff, and uh, they do have. They do have a bit of damage. I can buy his set, which is cool. But we'll do it later. Now let's not stay around because that stupid slug is probably gonna kill it. And we do not want him dead. Do we? Now where does this take? Oh yeah, of course. This is the boss arena. And it's time to fight the boss. But before that, I think there's an item here somewhere. Somewhere around, somewhere around. That's where the boss is. Nope, no, 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 nothing. See if I don't kill the sorcerer, I think in one of these balconies he's going to be situated. Buffing and sniping us and that would make the boss a bit tricky really but okay here we go so since there's water here if i am correct we need to use lightning and you know what i think i'm going to be summoning solaire sort of to continue his quest I don't think I've ever finished Soler's quest. Well, I mean, not finish. Uh, I never did the good ending. I always ended up doing the bad one. So, it's going to be pretty interesting to do the good ending. His bad ending is not that good. So, yeah. Let's get in. And... Have a fight with a boss that I really, really enjoy. It's a good boss. Visually, pretty interesting. Especially this intro right here. Yep, that is not a small boss. That's a big one. And then you think that's just a big one. Here's the real boss. <laughs> Let me go cut his tail first. If I can. It's going to be tough. With. There we go. I said he's going to be tough with the uh, spear. It's uh, probably not a good idea to be... Yep. It's probably not a good idea to be near him because he's going to kill us. And that's exactly what happened. Damn. I think this is one of the rare times I die to this boss. He's not exactly a very menacing boss. And I die to him. Yeah, I was thinking just gonna kill him alone, but yeah, I kinda have to humanity up and uh, summon Soleil again. Although I do prefer killing him alone because that will be faster and easier. Can I reinforce? No, of course not. I need a blacksmith to reinforce. Anyway, reverse the bloody Halloween. You know what I'm gonna do? I think I should get rid of the wolf's ring. The poison it gives me is kinda not good because I do rely on, uh, you know, visual. When I see my character, you know, shaken or anything, that's when I see the damage. And since I did have the pause effect, I did not see 
the amount of HP I had. So, yep, that was not good. Also, I need to go down. Because we do have a shortcut. Uh, not the, uh, not the, this one. There we go. At least we do have a second chance once we reach critical amount of HP. Although, make no mistake, if you are in the way, that boss does deal quite a bit of damage. So be ready for it. That's why I said you should never be in front of him. Because he will screw us up. I wonder. Oh really? Oh no, 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 I think. There's where we find him. Good. I was afraid that I would never see Soler again here. That I can no longer summon him. For whatever reason, because I do remember I can summon him whenever I want. Knight Soler summoned. Now the dude is going to come charging at us, so let's be prepared for the fight. And we don't need to see that again, so yeah. Also, locking the camera is not a good idea. There we go, see? Now I know my HP is uh, not in a good position. No need to cut his tail again because we already got the weapon. Let's not get stomped. He's going to do his uh, vile tax now. Oh crap. Let's do this one more time. Although I do think Pine Resin is a bit of cheating, but hey. It's not like I'm doing something bad. That is the one thing I did not want to happen. Man. My luck. So in my head I was like, okay. Uh, we are gonna do... One hit. Frontal hit. Because frontal hits does a bonus damage. And then we run away. And then I was like, okay, let's do one more. That's when I screwed up. One hit and run away. He will drop on the ground and... I will be safe. Two hits, he drops on me, and I'm dead. Stupid deaths. Stupid, stupid deaths. Anyway. I guess I'm out of shape. And I should be able to kill him easy. Uh, it's probably the curse of the recording, but still. I shouldn't blame other things on my failures. Stupid, stupid me. But damn, that one shot though. That one shot. And he was half HP too. So, yeah. That was a bummer. I think I only have one more pine resin. And that's it. He would be fought and killed conventionally. But nevertheless, I do deal moderate damage. Many people come here with the Dragon Sword that deals like 200 damage, so... Uh, they're gonna be having a much easier time dealing with him. And look at this. 380. Without being upgraded. But of course I need 50 strength for that weapon. Something I do not have, and uh, I'm not going to use, without a doubt. Oh, 
All right. Take three. Here we go. Don't think fire is good enough against it, but better than nothing. Let's not lock in because it's not good. Yeah, fire is not that interesting against it compared to lightning. Because, after all, this is a dragon. Yeah, yeah, you... Ow! Again! Ow! Hurts, buddy. Thought you were busy with Soler. Why are you attacking me? That makes me want to cut your stupid tail. Ooh, it's this. That's the... It was vanquished? Man! Yeah, he will take care of his tail so that I don't get attacked. There we go. Good riddance. Stupid tail. Turns around. Yeah, you do your thing. Stranded. Ow! That was close. That was uh, good damage. Now let's not be greedy. Be patient. Patience and Dark Souls go hand in hand. Yep, I think he's gonna vomit. Or not. Here's the vomit. There we go. I knew he's gonna vomit. This is pretty dangerous stuff, so... The farther I am, the better. And I hope he's gonna charge somewhere this way, so that it gives me some time to attack. Exactly what I wanted. Thank you, buddy. That's some damage. Now, the biggest problem here is... Uh, Stamina. Stamina is our biggest enemy. If I do not watch it and be careful, it will run out. And if it does run out, I am at risk of dying. The other charge. Good. This is what you want to bait out of him. Is the charge. Watch the stamina. One more attack. And wait. Oh, oh, sorry, buddy. You don't have your tail, don't you? That sucks for you. Also, watch out for this jump because it will kill you. Let's do one. There we go. Good enough. He will do this regularly, the jump thing, so be careful. I think it's a one shot as well. The one thing that I'm afraid of is the crush. There we go. It's done. It's gonna charge now, hopefully. Yeah, charge somewhere. One more. There we go. Like I said, it's not really a big problem. Even for a first time player, it's really not that big of a problem. If you are accustomed to the way he plays and he telegraphs his attacks, and as you can see, he has a big, big window time when he attacks. You only have not that many attacks. So if you're not always in his face, or should I say, in its body attacking, not regarding your stamina, then you most likely are going to beat him in the first try, just by being cautious. 
and not being stupid like me. I was uh, underestimating him, to say the least. Now that was the gaping dragon boss fight. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next episode, where we are going to be heading to the dreaded, dreaded Blight Town. I will see you then, and have a good day. I think in between I'm going to be heading back to Firelink and upgrading my weapon. We'll see about this. Anyway, until next episode, ladies and gentlemen.